Last October 16, Norma Guzman Clauserich made history when she was sworn in as judge, thus becoming the first Latina to ever become a judge in Rock Island County. Even though she was born in Moline, she spent the first few years of her life growing up on her parents' hometown, Yuriria, in the state of Guanajuato, Mexico. Last month, she sat down with Hola America TV for an exclusive interview. My sister right after me was born in Moline as well. And I think my dad had decided that it's the middle of the 60s. And my father decided that mm, maybe this was not where we needed to be. And he moved us back to Mexico and to Guanajuato, a little town called Yuridia, Guanajuato. And uh, I... We lived with my grandparents, and so I remember I re they had a una granja, which was a farm, um, and my grandfather raised chickens. So I remember having to go and pick eggs from the pecking chickens, you know, <laughs> to help them. Um, and I started school in Mexico uh, with the nuns and with one of my aunts that is my mom's youngest sister that she and I are the same age. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, um, I, I don't know the reasons why my dad decided to come back. Um, he decided to move us back, and we moved back in, I think it was January of 69, because my youngest sister was born in February of 69, and my dad and my parents say that they, that they moved here just in time for Jesse to be born here. Mm -hmm. My dad worked for John Deere. He ended up working for them 45 years and retired. Um, he was here at the Harvester Works in East Moline. So he worked, you know, assembly. He was, he was a laborer. And my mother uh, was a banquet waitress at the Holiday Inn in Rock Island. And she's, she probably had been there up until recently when she became ill for at least 40 years. And so... There, has, there was never a time that I thought I would not go to college because that was not an option for us. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't. I mean, for us kids, I should say. He was, my dad, was very um, insistent that we go to school. And I think it was, looking back now, it, you know, I stop and I think about this because my parents came here knowing nobody one friend that my dad, that's the reason my dad came from, one friend. And no family, no friends, no nobody. And I know they did it to provide a better life for us. Mm -hmm. So back then, I was angry because I thought, you know, you're just being being very strict and you're being this, you know, no, you can't spend the night, you know, that's loca, you know, that kind of stuff, or the, the, the Mexican customs that you can't spend the night, you know, who's going to watch your brother? Mm -hmm. Well, not his mom, but, right. but, you know, it was a clash of their, the way they were raised and the way us kids were trying to adapt to the culture and the, the customs here, right. homecoming. Why, why do you want to go to homecoming? Well, let's dance and try to explain homecoming in Spanish. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and so um, that kind of stuff. Um, but it, w it was never, I think, in his head, it was we came here so that you would have a better, you, us kids, mm -hmm. would have a better life. And, and you're going to school. How did, you, did you always know you wanted to be an attorney? Or for so long? Yes. Yes. And... I did, I, and I can't tell you specifically that there was some certain event that would lead me to say, hey, I want to be a lawyer. Um, it was something that was just in my head all the time. Um, I think I wanted to prove to myself that I was smart enough to go to law school. Um, I applied to one school and one school only, only the University of Iowa. And the admissions director there uh, uh, ex accepted me. Accepted me and I got into their, they used to have an accelerated program. So I finished law school in two years. Oh. We purposely picked the Holiday Inn 
And, and the reason that we purposely picked it is because, as I said, up until February of this year, she was still working there. So my mother, much like me, that is her other family. And so she wanted to see those people. She wanted, you know, um, uh, you weren't there, but the, the waitresses were hugging her. They were hugging me um, because it's, it's, it was in part thanks to the hotel and all the people that work there that I'm, I'm right here where I am right now. Um, both my parents worked very hard and uh, my dad very long hours and my mother usually worked Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So they worked very, very hard so that they didn't give us everything. I don't want to, I don't want to mislead and say that materially they said, oh, yeah, here, you know, hand it out. Um, it was, uh, we had a nice home, you know, um, my, like my dad said it's in Spanish, nunca les faltaba de comer, and this is true. And, you know, and what they could, you know, clothes and that stuff. We went to Mexico every year in December. And so culturally, they still mix that stuff. So, but they both worked. I think that's where the work ethic comes from the four of us. And I, I think to, even now I stop and I, I, it's not, when I was in school, I think it was probably a feeling of guilt and I felt that I had an obligation to do well in school and because they were paying for it. Um, now I look back and I have a overwhelming feeling of gratitude that they did that.